Oh, my heart is digging do. It's me, Scotty McClure. A very, very good Friday evening to you, and welcome to the Friday evening pop up. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, and I hope you're ready to do some serious chit chat tonight and make some very, very interesting points. Now, we're only here for one hour, one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment. So you will need to be very, very busy telling 10 to 10. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. This is the one that everyone is talking about. And this is the one that everyone is listening to right across the globe. Massive, massive listening figures. Two and a half million of you have joined me since we started the show. Now, that is incredible. And for that, I can just say Thank you. Excellent. Paul Fletcher's watching. Derek, Jimmy Walker, Susan Forrest. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. You're nice and sharp tonight. And so am I, of course. David Drummond. Good evening, young sir. Good evening, David Drummond. Lovely to have you with us. Alex Glass is watching. And Brian McMeekin. Hey ho, Scotty boy, says Brian. Kevin McDonald, dinky do. Christopher Love, lovely to have you with us as well, of course. Now, do a lot of the sharing tonight and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on the big one because this is where it's all happening. There's great things happening in the world of McClue, of course. I have to zip it. I can't tell you everything, but I shall do as soon as I can spill the beans. Mark McGee is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Mark. And welcome to our Friday evening pop-up talk show. This is the big one. Not just for one nation, but globally across the universe. Fantastic. Hello, Scotty. How are you? This is Derek Jimmy Walker. Fantastic, Derek. Thanks for joining us. Megan Andrew, Scotty, Mr. Popular. Great show, man. Evening Gramps, says John Adams. I'll say evening grumps to John Adams. There we are. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with us, though. So much to talk about. And tonight, we may even do a little bit of a quiz at some point, if you would like that. Jackie Williams is watching Dinky Do. If you're just new to the program and you think, I don't know who this guy is, you might be an alien life form from another planet, and you've never actually heard Scotty McClure on radio or television. But there we are. Here we are, live in front of you tonight. A shout out for Sandra and Marcella Foy. Sandra Marcella's pink dress, says Thomas Pidden. Yes, very nice indeed. Uh, James Fitton's watching. Yeah, are you not having a few sherbets tonight, Algen? I may have had a few sherbets. Who knows? Unlikely, though. Uh, Gemma Ann Marie McRae watching Dinky Do. Welcome, 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 I say, to our Friday evening pop-up. This is the big one. And uh, hopefully a lot of you will be joining us. You'll have to do a lot of the sharing tonight. Uh, what do you think? Uh, James Fitton, we can't talk like that, and you can't make comments like that. So there we are. So what we'll have to do is delete that. And James, you're very lucky that you're still on. You can't talk about that live like that as opening. You can't make that sort of suggestion. So there we are. Excellent. Right. Uh, there we go, guys. Now, as I say, let's not talk about individuals. Let's not talk about famous politicians and all that sort of stuff. Let's talk about you and me, because that's what matters. The, the, uh, the world is awash with people attempting to do talk shows and saying, here's the news agenda. We don't do that on here. I'm interested in you. All right. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, got my uh, gel for my tongue, says Derek. Good. Excellent thing. Yes, we heard. We'll not go into all that. Andy, who's watching? Um, they're all in the bevy, Scotty. It's Friday, says Charles A. Dever. No, no, Charles A. Dever. You're thinking small. Charles A. Diver. I beg your pardon. You're thinking small. They're all on the bevy. It's Friday. This show is going out to places where it's not Friday. And they are not on the bevy because they're not local. Have you got that? It's a global show. We're talking to people in Australia where it's already tomorrow or yesterday. We're talking to people in America 
and Russia and China and Japan and the Arctic and the Antarctic and uh, Australia, New Zealand and Europe, all these places. So there you go, Charles A. Diver. So they are not all on the bevy. Are you on the bevy? Am I on the bevy? I don't think so. So there's two that you got rang for a start. Okay, John Wilson's watching. Did you do one more shout out for Maraid? She's fundraising for her dad. Um, he's not famous the Scotty, says James Fitton. So there you are. Uh, Robert McHardy, how are we? Of course, public figure though, public figure. So there we are. Uh, so that's that. Now, uh, if anybody's over the top or offensive, it's a life time ban. Harsh and savage, I know, but that's the rules of the road on here on the Scotty McClue Show. All right, so there you are. That's the last I'm going to say about that. Lovely to have you all with us. I don't want to seem too strict or too harsh or any of that, but uh, we have to deal with the dafties as well. And uh, Ian Roach, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky you do. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live now. Now, I've got my sharing machine here, so we can do a bit of that. In fact, I've got several sharing machines, so we don't need to be going short. I've just uploaded um, tonight's early tea time pop-up up to YouTube. If you're a YouTube fan, get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You can just put that in. Or you can put in, uh, wait till we see, here we go, guys. I'll just get the Facebooks. Um, you can uh, put in uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one, all one word, and you'll get the whole channel. Don't do it just now, though, because you're watching the program. And this is the finest piece of television you'll ever see. Think when you put your telly on. Who talks to you nowadays? Do you not remember we used to get the news? Somebody popped up. There was no sort of this report from or that report from. They read you the news in their tweed jacket and said, here is the news, and finished up with, good evening. And that was it. And uh, you got that. And when I was little, we only had one channel, and that was BBC. It wasn't BBC One. Whoops. There we are, hearing myself coming back there. Excellent. Just going to share all this, guys, so that you know what is happening. Big star. I'm also on Twitter. If you're a Twitter person, follow me at Scotty McClue. Excellent. Right. Let's get going here. Good evening, says Tom Hamilton. Scotty, you're looking very dapper, sir, says Tony Mac. Hello, young man, says uh, R. Peter Richardson. Okay, says Charles A. Diver. Is that okay? Uh, what are you doing at the weekend, says Derek? Why do you ask? You're nursing your tongue, remember? I can remember listening to you years ago on Scott FM, and the Maddies were on there, says Brian McMeekin. Vicky Hall says hello. Lovely to have you with us, Vicky. Stephen, we are mouths watching in the northeast of England. Good evening, pal. Welcome back, says Thomas. John Wilson, I wonder how many single mothers are watching from their Kunso Hoos. So there we are, says John Wilson. What happened that you got put off TV and radio? We think something happened because I was a bit of a commercial threat to some of the other stations. So there we are. So we're not quite sure what went on there, but something did. It was certainly nothing I said or did. So there you are. I can tell you that right now. Alex Roberts has joined us. Didn't you do, Alex? Uh, hello, Kick says Vicky Hall. So there we are. There's Karen Mercury waving. Cammy West, Dinky Doo, Mark Andrews is watching. Excellent stuff. I had to scroll to the end there after um, deleting somebody. So that's that. That's what happens. Lifetime ban, of course, but wonderful to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Um, two and a half million people have watched. Scotty McClue's pop-ups since we started doing the Facebook Live. So that's not too bad, I would say. It's an excellent way to spend a few moments, to spend your evening, and of course, we can send it round. Uh, send me lots of uh, thumbs up, tapity taps, hearts, smileys. Keep tapping your screen. Uh, some carry on that, Scotty. 
uh, says uh, Tom McPinnon. So there you are. Uh, yes, absolutely, there was some carry-on. You're quite right. Uh, but we will get to the bottom of it someday. He dives to the left, he dives to the right. So there you are. John Wilson, remember we're not a football phone in, so we don't discuss that. Well, hey, Fridays now have the McClue feeling, says Mark Andrews. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good evening, Steve, and a very, very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue pop-up on Friday night, live on Facebook Live, perhaps the world's top broadcast platform. Tremendous stuff. And we're going out right across the globe. Keith Wotherspoon's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Michael Walgram, excellent to have you along as well. Come and join us. Now, guys, if you're a business person uh, and you want Scotty McClue to do voiceovers for your business, to do your advert, to advise you on anything, get yourself on to Scotty McClue on LinkedIn. Excellent. Gemma and Marie McRae. Thomas Ford says good evening. So there we are. And uh, John Wilson is threatening to spoil it for himself with his football tripe. So stuff has been, I know. And it is. Tripe, you know, I mean, there's more to life than, what did you think of the game last night? That's how people open a conversation rather than, hello, how are you? There you are. How's your evening, Scotty? What's the topic tonight? Alistair King, we have lots and lots of topics tonight. But of course, our aim is to bring the world together through Facebook. Now, I know it's a bold aim. Absolutely. But let's get down to business. Derek McMahon, lovely big smile there. Dinky do and a warm welcome from Scotty McClure with the Friday night pop up. Now, I hope people are listening in pubs and clubs. I hope they've all got their phones out and they're having a right good look at the program. I hope you're looking in the buses and the taxis and all that with a guy saying he had it on in his um, Bluetooth in his ear earlier. He was listening to the Scotty McClue pop-up on Bluetooth. Hello, everybody in Fife, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Derek Jimmy Walker, are you a Fifer? Because I would like you to extend your welcome to people across Scotland, across England, across Ireland, across Wales, across Northern Ireland, all that. Are you sporting an eye injury? Hope you're okay, my pal. No, no, that's the lighting. Let me try and show you how this works. Um, if I bring a light up, you see how it disappears? So it's just the lighting. I look as if I've got a bit of a blotchy complexion. I haven't. So there you are. I have a peaches and cream complexion. Like the jacket, Scotty, yes, my rowing blazer, you know, excellent stuff. As I say, I put rowing down on my curriculum vitae, and the guy thought it was rowing. So there you are, nearly lost the job. Uh, excellent, Thomas Biden and uh, Derek Jimmy Walker, Kirkcaldy. Well, there you are. So not just hello to everybody in Fife, hello to everybody across the globe. What I'm trying to do, guys, I see you've got the cravat. Yes, that was on uh, your suggestion, I think. Was that right, Karen? Yes. Your suggestion. Oh, no. And also, it was on the other gentleman with a very distinguished name. So there we are. Sir Oroch Goroch, or whatever. Uh, Dunfermline, says Alistair King. Now, who sits in Dunfermline Toon drinking the blood red wine? Alistair. Come on. Spill. Hello again, Law. You're still looking lovely, says Rab. Thanks, Rab. Very, very nice of you. Uh, no, not mine, says Karen. No, it wasn't yours, Karen. No, no, no. It was another gentleman. It was um, Sir Erich. Sir Erich. So there you are. Trying to get the full name right. Uh, Ricky Lennon's watching. Must be the oil of you, ladies, says Robert McHardy. Thank you, advertising, Robert. Uh, so that stuff. Uh, Rab Hill, do you vape? Says Thomas Pinn. What a strange question. Do you vape? People used to say, do you smoke? When they offered you cigarettes. But now I suppose, do you vape? Do you fancy some of this? So there we are. Um, he was outstanding in his field. Thank you, Alan. Very, very good of you to say so. Uh, I am the king. Lol, so it be me. Yes, Alistair King. The king sits in Dunfermline Toon. And why did the king sit in Dunfermline Toon? Can you answer that one? 
Uh, Alan, that's a new one, says John. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Dinky Doo, says Wedge. Wedge has just joined us. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. Thomas Ford says, Vivian Henry says, hello, Vivian Henry. Hello back. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. I'm in Torrance. Drinking the blood red wine, says Charles McLachlan. Excellent. Of Lachlan, of Lachlan, of McLachlan, of Castle Lachlan. Uh, you didn't see the first part, says Alan. No, no, but, uh, you know, I'm quite sure you're saying nice things about Scotty McLean. I don't drink wine. I'm a whiskey man. Are you a malt or a blended man? So there you are. Are you West Coast or are you Northeast? Do you go for that? Clean, sharp taste of the space sides, or do you go for the malty, pity, salty taste of the West Coast? Scotty, we both have the perfect face for radio. Speak for yourself, Tony Mac. I have the perfect face for television. Radio was my secondary thing. So there you are. I'm a television man, you see. So there we are. Uh, got to be a malt, says Alistair King. Yes. Remember, my father enjoyed a wee malt. Remember somebody saying, water? And they went, oh, for heaven's sake, no. So there we are. And I remember being in a bar and one of these old gents came in. He had the tie out over the front of his V-neck pullover. Do you know the kind I mean? And uh, he uh, got himself a malt and um, then uh, water, the barman said, water, sir? And he went, oh, no, no, it's weak enough. <laughs> uh, chest from the east or chest from the west? What about chest? Your chest? Well, there's one for you. Uh, never heard that one, says John Adams. John, are you and Alan having a wee sub show on here? Good evening, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Andy Hughes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the World's Top Broadcaster, and First Lord of the Internet, with a Friday evening pop-up, just to say dinky-doo to every single one of you. Lots to discuss tonight, but remember, we don't discuss politics football or religion. I was hearing on the radio yesterday, vaping has been offered to prisoners again at the cost of the taxpayer. The only thing the prisoners used to get was Scotty McClure on the radio at night, because a lot of them wrote to me and actually said, thank you. So there we are. Uh, I do like a wee glaive or a rusty nail, that sort of thing. I gave you a good joke last night, Scotty. Yes, you did indeed. I think I gave you one back. You do have a good face for television, Scotty. Thank you, because I'll tell you where this is leading. I think this would be fabulous, either on BBC or ITV or some television channel, for half an hour on a Friday night, say 11 till half 11, and we just pop up live and talk to the nation. So there you go. Uh, hi, Andy, where you been? So there we are. John Adams has been cheeky. We are the people, says Sharice Allison. Which people are you, Sharice? You tell me you are the people. Are you the people from the South Sea Islands or whatever? Hello, everyone. This is Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Sharice is having a sub show as well, live on the Scotty McClure show. Now, we might do a bit of quick. Uh, what I was going to say, you're doing press ups, says Andy Hughes. Excellent. Drop and give me 30. Evening, Scotty. How's your day? Just back from the bingo? Uh, so wonderful stuff. And um, you've been meeting famous people, I believe, at the bingo. Can you still, do you still do two fat ladies or is that not political correct? Do you do legs 11 and everybody whistles or is that not Politically correct, they are. What are the bingo calls these days? And uh, Andy Hughes, 100% lull. He says, excellent stuff. Hi, Scott, he says, Carol Ann Thompson. Hello, Carol Ann Thompson. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure. And uh, all the old favorites are on here. Kenny Oggs joined us. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us, Kenny, and a very warm welcome to the Friday night pop-up with me, Scotty McClue. Frank Gallagher says, nope. Now, um, what are you talking about, Frank? So they are nope to what? <laughs> Eyes down for the snowball, says Robert McHardy. Excellent stuff. Um, 100 sit-ups, says she's good. Just set up the ones, Sharice, and 
Just keep nice. I just sit up once, but you did it a hundred times. So there we are. Shared boss, McClure. Absolutely. So it should be. Scotty McClure with you guys, World Stop Broadcaster. Let's start a bit of sharing going on here. Now, I'll have to close Thomas Hamilton there because he's blocking out the share. Right. So there we are. Excellent. Just going to share now. And uh, we'll just put live now, guys. Excellent. Then it's coming up. Share, share, share. Wonderful. Oh, share in public. We like that. Share in public. There we are. Uh, Sit-ups in your cell, says John Adams. So there you are. Did you hear about the lonely prisoner? He was in his cell. Oh, you can't beat that. So there we are. Hey, Edge Espo says hello. Hello, Edge. Where are you? Tuning in from America. A very, very warm welcome to you. We love our American brothers and sisters. Hands across the sea to you. I was watching Aretha Franklin's funeral today and uh, Ariana Grande. Uh, fantastic stuff. So there you are. Share, 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 share. Good evening, Scotty. Did you ever think of starting your very own radio station? I did start a radio station, but we had a stewardship problem with one of the management and it just uh, caused a difficulty. So there we are. But uh, who knows? We may have another one at some point. Also did a lot of internet radio. Very successfully, did I say. Tony Mac, it's always good to hear from people who disagree with us. From another point of view, do you agree, Scotty? No, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, so there you are. Light shared and invited. So there we are. Wonderful. Invite everybody. So I've just shared that. I'm also going to start sharing to a, a Scotty McClue page. Uh, sorry, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Sorry about what, Thomas? What are you sorry about? You have nothing to apologize or reproach yourself for. So there we go. I'm just going to share. I'll put uh, live now. Uh, this sharing, what, what I'm needing to do, and I'm missing the lovable lassie of the big switchboard because she used to do all this for me, you see. And I didn't have to. But oh, we can manage. We can manage. So there we are. Live now. Oh, the wizard. Do you remember the wizard? Do you remember we used to whip the wizard? And uh, all that, if you got a name wrong. Wonderful. Uh, what happened to you in Lanarkshire Radio, says Gemma and Marie McRae. Oh, that closed down. I tried to save it uh, for two years, but um, there were just too many imponderables, shall we say. Uh, Andy, are you know at the sugar tonight, says Ian Ain't always good. Sharice, I'm always good, always good, Sharice, absolutely, wonderful stuff, lovely to have you with us, Andy. Hello, says Wendy Walker, so there you are, she's just popped up to say hi. Now, I've just shared a live now, we'll uh, share it with some groups, <coughs> and if you can all do the same, guys, that would be fantastic, because we've only got until 11 o'clock, and, um, you know, depending where you are in the world, there's some lovely people uh, watching in America. Scotty, you're talking to yourself. No, I'm talking to you. So listen up. Uh, so there we are. Um, no one to phone you yet. No, I don't think they quite realize, but you can phone me on Messenger, guys. If you want to do that, feel free to do it. Not a problem. There we go, and we'll just do that. Lovely, lovely. Who is the little photo frame behind you, says David Drummond? That's my father, David. I was showing the nation him last night. I'll get him for you. Let you have a quick swatch. There he is there. That's Big Archie. Let me up to see with that light. Let me see if I move that light out. Have you got him there? Can you see there? That's him. So there we go. Yes, wonderful. Out in uh, Satpur. Satpur in India. Uh, you're setting a topic to call in. Uh, we can have a topic to call in, yes. There's absolutely no problem with that, if you'd like that. And I'll tell you the topic I'm going to give you for calling in. Is marriage a good thing or not? So there we are. Marriage in the 21st century. Is it a good thing? Or is it not? What was I looking for? Two seconds. Give me a couple of seconds, guys. Back just a wee second here. Now then, I'm still here. So don't be talking about me behind my back. 
Oh my goodness. There we are. A wee mop dune. I just had to get the clammy chamois because it gets very, very hot in the studio. So I had to have a mop dune. So there we go. Uh, it's a bad thing, she says. Phone is in and uh, wonderful, and we can get a chit chat. So that's right, that's right, Shari. That, that was big, Archie. Uh, nobody wants me, I'm right ass. Very bonny lady, I'll tell you. Uh, what regiment was he in, Scotty? Looks like a military man. The Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. And uh, he loved that, actually, because. Uh, what was interesting? No, he was he was a Queen's Own Cameron Highlander, Aaron. And uh, what was interesting, uh, from a personal point of view, it's been great for me, says Alan. So there you are. Where are we phoning in tonight, says Harry Knowles? You're phoning on Messenger, Harry. So we'll try that one. Scotty, I thought you were taking a swally there. No, no, I've got a swally here, a large one. What do you think? That's neat. <laughs> Hi there, Scotty. I'm spending the weekend at my caravan in Embo near Donach. Have you ever explored this beautiful part of the country? Phil sign. Do you know, it's funny you should ask because I have Donach and Donach Cathedral is well worth a look. And I also stayed at Golspey under uh, Ben Braggy, you know? Under the shadow of Ben Braggy or Golsby's Lonely Bay. Great thing, I've been happily married for 13 years. I like Mrs. Max always looking after me. Here's Harry, hang on. Right, Harry, it'll take a wee while to answer, La, and you can tell us what's what. So there we go, and I'll just see that we're all sorted out here. So here's Harry calling us. Takes a wee while to answer. Hello, Harry. Can you hear me? Hello, Harry. <laughs> it will answer, guys. Don't worry. There's something happening. I can hear it. It's wonderful. So there we are. I'll just move this over. Hello, Harry. Have we got you? I might actually call him back. See if we get that to work. Here, here he's coming up now. Keep going, Harry. If you're phoning in, just keep going with it. Patience is a virtue. Job had patience, I say. <laughs> I've run from Glasgow to Scrabston all week. Here's Harry phoning in again. So that's right. Hello, Harry. Who's, who's calling in? Somebody calling in below, Harry. He's calling again. There we go. Right, stick with it, Harry. Excellent stuff, and we will get you on. Harry Carey, says Kenny Og. I hopefully not, Kenny Og. That is a terrible thing to say. So there we are. Say her. Yes, your Wally on a Monday morning. Do you remember him sitting in the bucket? But it wasn't something stronger. Well, what what do you think this might be? Hmm. It's the police. It's no the police. You mustn't judge people like that. So there you go. Uh, call me, Scotty. It seems to be technical issues tonight. So there we are. Now, here you come, Harry. It just takes a wee while, you know. I'll try and see if it can get you then. There we go. Right. Extra stuff. It's just you need the patience. You need to have the patience. Of course, there's technical things. What's going on there? Oh, something's happening here, La. Oh, Scotty, I thought we'd never get there. Of course we've got there. How can you hear me now, Scotty? Is it better than last night? Um, a wee bit. It's not great, actually, to be honest. Uh, how's that now? Slightly better. Have you any more volume? Slightly better. Slightly better. Can we all hear this man? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Good, good quality. Uh, what did it? What did uh, Kenny Og mean? Harry Carey. What does that mean? Well, Harry Carey. No, Harry Carey. I don't even want to go there. It's a dreadful thing. It's um, a form you know of Let me know. a form of Eastern suicide. Right. Well, I should hope not. So, you know, Scotty, I do a broadcast of my own, so I'd be very grateful if you could perhaps give me a shout-out 
on your Facebook page and on the airwaves, then I, that would be absolutely delightful. Wonderful. Well, there you go. No no problem at all. Harry Knowles. Is it Knowles or Knowles? Sorry, what's is, that scoffing? Is it Knowles or Knowles? It's Knowles. Knowles. Right, Harry Knowles. <laughs> and you do a broadcast on Facebook. Indeed. I do. You've never watched it yet. I felt offended. No, no, I never ever feel offended. I'm a very, very busy man. Uh, so how many pop-ups are you doing now, Scotty? About 14 a week now, is it? No, well, we've done a few this week. Excellent. And we've had um, well over 20,000 people have joined us. Excellent stuff. Always good to have plenty of broadcasts. Here's uh, Eddie be... Doby Sr. telling me about an unemployed doctor who had no patience. Who has no patience? Me. Yep. The unemployed doctor. He had no patience. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you get it? Sorry, Scott, I'll have yes, to be up for work. Excellent stuff. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Harry. Top man. Yes, thank you do. Dinky do la. Wonderful. So that's it, Sir John. He says Harry knows nothing. So there we are. Uh, do you remember a film about uh, Harry Never Holds? And it was Walter Pigeon. And it was about, um, I think it was about pickpockets or something like that. Harry Never Holds. So there we are. Um, I was wondering where the saying Dinky Do comes from. I love it. Well, I actually, I own Dinky Do, believe it or not. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dinky do. Um, I think it comes from the Emperor Zero when uh, he was addressing the Romans before they all walked back to Rome from this country. And he stopped them and he said, Dinky do. And they all went, Dinky do, Zero. Excellent stuff. What about that? Right. Who else is going to call in? That was excellent. Thank you very much. John Adams, settle yourself down now. You're getting a bit excited. There were, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster. And we are, of course, live on the big one. It's Friday night. Nothing gets past me. I am also the first lord of the internet. So there we go. Anybody want to give me a call, feel free. You'd be very, very welcome. And um, so we've got that. Here's Harry Ellingworth. Now, Harry, what I'll do with you is block you. All right, so there we are. Uh, Andy Hughes is phoning in, right? Good, Andy, good for you. Andy Simpson, everybody's called Andy here. I remember you on Century Radio in the Northwest, Scotty. Great times. James Glenn Dinning, how amazing is that? Right, are you phoning, Sharice? You'll get it on Messenger there, so you can just give us a quick call. That would be fine. There's no problem with that. I'm just going to do some more sharing. Oh, yes, I was going to share to a group when Harry phoned. Um, how do you trademark a phrase, Scotty? I think my missus must have trademarked the word no. Costs quite a lot of money to do it, I have to say. Hello from Louis, Gabriel and Liz. Shabbat Shalom from London. Shabbat Shalom, Louis Faber. Welcome to the program, dear boy. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. I'm listening with my grandson, says Margaret MacDonald. She says, a lovely week is Kiss to you, Margaret. Lovely to have you there. And dinky do. Say hello to Cairn for me. Hello, Cairn. Are you sitting with your grandma? That's fantastic. Dinky do. There we go. Mark Donaldson's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Mark. I hope you're doing well, buddy. And dinky do. We got a lot of very famous broadcasters coming on here. Tremendous. It really is. It really is fantastic. Right. Uh, time marches on. So I'll just do a bit more sharing. Excellent. And if you can do the same. Good night, everybody, says Kenny Og. Cheers, Kenny. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. You get off to Bobo's. Uh, a, wee, uh, a wee hot chocolate. Alan Kemble says, cracking name, Kim. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Night, says Karen. Night, Calm Angel. Dinky do. Do you remember Glenn Michael and Paladin? Right. Can we name your lamp? Name Scotty's Lamp. I am the genie of the lamp. Excellent. Kenny, says Karen Merkey. You're naming the lamp Kenny. 
<laughs> Wonderful stuff. Welcome, 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 folks. Can we have a share, please? We're dead on the money share-wise. Can everybody share, 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 share. And remember, right, uh, I haven't got a brew, Sherry, so I haven't made any tea tonight. Yes, it's from the Scottish Cairn in the mountains. Lovely. The Cairn Gorms. Lovely to be on with you, Scotty. Can you give the usual shout out to Haley, Angela, Jen, uh, Elizabeth, and Riddell. There we are. Wonderful. Riddell. Lol, I was saying night to Kenny. I forgot his name the first time. I know it's easily done. But we've had lots of Andys and lots of Kennys on. I think shared, says Andy Hughes. Share, everybody. Quick mop down with the brow. Not a problem. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. How about that? What's this called? Everybody know what that's called? So there we are. Uh, shared. Lindsay Lulu's watching. Lindsay Lulu. Dinky Doo. Where are you watching from? Kenny the Lamp. Yes. Uh, it's called a coupon, says Andy Hughes. Yes, you're quite right. This is your, your coupon. You know, we have a brewery near us called Cairnamore. Worth a visit or Cairnamore. Yes. So what's that? That will be the big Cairn, I would think. Is that right? The bonnet. We could call the lamp the bonnet. Bonnet lamp. Peaky blind earth, says Louis Faber. What about Scotty and Boris, says Robert McHardy. Excellent. So there we go. I can't understand your noggin. So she, she thinks your coupons, your noggin. I thought your noggin was your head. Your fizzog is your face as well. And I think it's a bit coarser, but in Edinburgh, they talk about your pus. So there you are. What? Look at the pus on you. So that big Monroe is near Cairn, says Eddie Dobby Senior. Uh, we've got the Cairn. We've got Cairn services on the motorway, haven't we? Yes. Uh, Andy Hughes, drive past. Drive past the Cairn. So there we go. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. Now, what have I got here? Shared, says Frank Gallagher. Good man, Frank. Excellent stuff. It just lets everybody know what is going on. And uh, I'm also sharing on uh, Twitter here, at Scotty McClue. If you want to join me on Twitter, then feel free. And the Scotty McClue website, guys. I put up the PayPal. If anybody's got a spare fiver or a tenner and you want to help me grow the show, stick it into Scotty McClure's PayPal on the Scotty McClure official website. So there we are. Sup, says Sharice. Uh, that's it backwards. Another name is your clock. So there you go. Oh, look at the clock in that. My goodness me. Uh, 1,242 people have just seen that tweet. And I've just put it up there. That's amazing, isn't it? And uh, 107 have actually watched the video. That's very good. That's just one wee tweet, guys. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, one day we had 20... Uh, sorry, wait a minute. Yes, 125,000 people had uh, come on to the Twitter account. That's amazing. Owen Breslin, what I'll have to do, Owen, is ban you la. Anybody that comes up with that nonsense, it's a complete ban. So bye, Owen. We'll never, ever, ever hear of Owen again on this program. He's just been banned. TikTok, says Sharice, absolutely. TikTok, my dear. Your TikTok, have I had to look at the tick on him? So, then you've got a rhyming slang. See, the Cockneys think they invented rhyming slang. But in Scotland, we've got quite a lot of it as well. So there you are. Your coupon, says Margaret McDonald. Are we swatch at his coupon? I see 1,254 on there, guys. This show is massive. Absolutely massive. Quite fantastic. There's a guy I couldn't understand. He said, but Scotty, you've just got a few watching. But why doesn't realise is that rolls up. You don't have pen. Yeah, pen and ink. A stink. <laughs> a pen and ink. <laughs> so there we go. So there's Owen. He's had it. He's gone. Fantastic. I'll just save and get right. Excellent. Your dial. I've paid my weekly fee to Scotty. 
Sharice, I hope you haven't been putting your money in there. Phil signed Scotty. Marriage is incredibly important. You should phone me, Phil, and have a chit-chat. Guys, if anybody wants to phone through on Messenger and you've got your microphone working, do feel free to do that. You're very, very welcome. Excellent stuff. Stuart Main's watching. Dinky do, Stuart. A very, very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClure. And we're live on the big one. Friday night, nothing gets past me. Dinky do. Now, the very regulars that are coming on, I won't say your name all the time because obviously it gets a bit too much for people that are just joining us. So there are Graham Brown is watching Dinky Doo. You're fairly swallowing that vodka, says Rab. Oh, Rab, you're very harsh. Uh, all right, Scotty, I've just switched you on. What are we gibbering about tonight? Matthew Roberts, we never, ever, ever gibber. We talk quality chit chat. The very, very best. So there you are. You've got to remember, Scotty McClure, with his IQ of 164, is sitting here, ready to deal with whatever you throw at him. Not a problem. So there we go. So if you want to phone in and have a wee chit-chat, let's get that on the go and uh, build up our numbers. We are a world-class show, so we don't gibber. I do not gibber. Do you not remember... I think it was the million pound note. Was that with Gregory Peck? And the guy had the million pound note and nobody could change it. But they knew he had the money. So they waited on him hand and foot. I can't understand why no one would want to get married. I wouldn't want to be single again. So there's Tony Mac. Well, you've struck it lucky, Tony Mac. Sounds like you've struck gold there. Alanta Smith, hello, hello. Lovely to have you with us. Sharice, you can get on your phone. Are you watching on your phone? You can come on and give us a bit of a chit-chat. That would be fabulous. Now then, uh, nobody loves me enough. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. You're on Messenger. Uh, I'll bail you, says Rab. Good Rab. Excellent stuff. Uh, any squeeze box tonight, says Alistair King. I don't have it with me, Alistair. I would have to go and get it from somewhere in McClure Towers, wherever it is. I'm still waiting for my prince, says Sharice. Excellent, Sharice. Dinky do. You, someday your prince will come. So they, I remember when I had some photos in being developed, and I went in and I said to the guy that was developing them, I said, have the prince arrived yet? He said, no, but someday your prince will come. Uh, I'm still waiting for my prince too, says Elaine Costello. Prince too meaning as well, or the second prince. Uh, Andy, get on it. Says, uh, Charisse. Elaine Costello says, low. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, you're all right, wee Cinderella there, aren't you? Uh, I like the scar bonnet. So wonderful stuff. People rejected, rejected a car, says Andy. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's lovely. Absolutely lush. Dinky do. Friday night, guys. Lovely to have you with us. A warm welcome to the Scotty McClure live pop-up on Facebook Live. Come and join us and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Share it and share it. I shall do some more sharing here. And uh, then we know what is what. Wonderful. Right, let's get off that. That's the, uh, and get on to this. Wonderful stuff. Um, I like a car bonnet, says Andy. Or like a car bonnet, says Andy Hughes. What are you talking about? Very strange. Guys, you're having a sub-conversation there. So there you are. How very, very weird. Uh, there we are. Did you know it's uh, 20 years since Princess Diana lost her life? 20 years tonight. And I remember sitting, I was in my house in Sheffield. I was working in Sheffield at the time. See, people thought Scotty McClue disappeared. I'm still trying to ding my queen. Lol. That day, I'll, until that day, I'll stay married to my motorcycle. What have you got? Have you got a matchless Alistair King? So there we are. And uh, now then, now then, language, language, I'll tell you that. Uh, right, I'm just going to... Pop on here and do a bit of sharing. If you can all do the same, that would be fantastic. That would be wonderful. There we go. Can we all share, share, share? Yes, I think we're just about due for one of them. 
Uh, anybody want to bell me, you can get me on Messenger. Is that Voddy Scotty? I can see this ending up like the Reverend I am Jolly Sketch. My mum and dad have been 47 years married. They argue with each other. They still love each other. Lovely woman and a lot of respect for Diana. So that's a king. Everybody remembers where they were, I think. Mm. Oh, that's low. It's a very good waffle. Yeah, but wait till I tell you. Uh, what, since I was in my house in Sheffield, and it was about half past two in the morning, so I used to work very late. And I was sitting up, and I thought, I'll see what's on the telly. And I put on the telly, and that was when the news guy came up and said that Princess Diana had been in an accident in Paris. She was okay, but that Dodi Fayed had died in the accident, but Princess Diana was okay. That was the first news reports. Yvonne Malcolm. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Yvonne. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Scotty would make a good Reverend Jolly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Shanice, can you watch your language, please? I think I'll remove that comment. Delete. There we are. You need to watch your language. We've got people watching with sensitivities. So you need to do that. I've got 14 bytes, Scotty. My Harley is my girl, though. Absolutely. Do you remember the Matchless and the AJS? What about that? Who else knows about classic motorcycles? Who can give me the name of a classic motorcyclist? So there we are. Come on, Andy Hughes says, Sharice, you have to call. You have to call in to Scotty McClure. There we go. There we're live there, guys. How fantastic is that? Excellent. Right. What I'll do is I'll just uh, share this, and then I'll be back with you. And if you can all do the same, excellent. And we're sharing to, we're inviting people. So you'll get an invite now. Uh, which is wonderful. There we go. And um, invite, invite. There you are. I've just invited you a lot. How fabulous is that? In fact, I'll just invite a lot of you. There we are. That's you all getting an invite to come and join us if you're not actually watching. That's brilliant. So excellent. That's just letting everybody know that we are live big style. How fabulous. There we are. Oh, right. That's that. And uh, a few more, a few more. There's thousands of you out there. It's incredible. So there we are. And uh, you can't beat a live broadcast. Share to groups. So we'll share to groups. I've also a Moto Marini. So there we are. Amazing. Yes, share. It's been five minutes since the last one. A BSA, yes, Birmingham Small Arms Company, Eddie Dobie Senior. Can you remember what the 250 was called, right? The C15, remember what she was called? So there we are, excellent, right. I'll just do a bit of this. Wonderful, wonderful. No, it's all about sharing, if you see what I mean. You keep sharing and then people become aware and um, you get the numbers up. And it makes for a more interesting show. Scotty, did you ever have a motorcycle? Yes, I did. I'll tell you what I did. I had a moped. I had two mopeds, in fact. And one was a rally runabout. 1963. A gorgeous thing. So it was really, it was a fabulous from Rally in Nottingham. Hello, good sir. Uh, so what we have to do with all you guys, I'm afraid, is delete your comment. So there we are. And any more comments, it's a lifetime ban. So excellent stuff. Is that a boat? No, does it sound like a boat? It sounds like a boat blowing. So there we are. Um, it's excellent. No, we're just sharing these different groups. And we're letting them know that we're live now. And if people want to come on the program, they can do. Fantastic stuff. There's a pending one. That's the admin wants to have a look at that one. So there we go. And there's another one. Right. That's that. That lets everybody know that uh, Scotty McClure is live. Dinky do. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that is fabulous. There we are. And we'll share there. Good. Right. That's that done. Now, what have we got here? Um, oh, we'll just have to ban you, I think. Yeah, there we go. We've got, what we've got, guys, is some funny guys coming on. They do this, apparently, and what we've got to do is just block them. 
So there we go. The C-15. Says Eddie, don't be seeing you. Yes, can you remember what she was called? What was her actual handle? The C-15. It was a 250, single cylinder 250, and it was called the Starfire. Is that not right? C-15 Starfire. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely, lovely things. The BSA C15, you got them, they had a kind of metallic -y turquoise. It was absolutely fabulous. There was a bike mentioned in the Bible. David rode around in his triumph. Yes, on triumph. In triumph. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. I need to tell my pals, I've found you again, says Yvonne Malcolm. Tell everybody, Yvonne. Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. Fantastic. Did you have an ashtray on your bike, says Matthew Roberts? Yes, you didn't smoke on the bikes, I'll tell you that. Far too dodgy, far too fast. And then the BSAs also did... Um, they did 650s, and they had two 650s. Can anybody remember what the 650s were called? So there we go. A step through, Scotty. Great fun. Marriage is a good thing. I've been married for a year. Good, lovely, and glad to hear it. Coming live, says Andy. What's up, Scotty, big man? Good to see you every night this week, says Paul McCulley. Absolutely, Paul. Very, very important. So there we are. The Royal Enfield, says Eddie Doby Sr., now you're talking. A Royal Enfield, the BSA. Can you remember that the GPO, the General Post Office, had BSA Bantams? The Telegraph Boys had them. I think they were 175s. Not sure if the Telegraph Boys had a 125. Tremendous. Can I join, Scotty? Says Melvin Jordan. Of course you can, Melvin. Come and join us. And dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Paul Sefton's watching. So there we are. What are they talking about, Sharice? Talking about classic motorcycles. One nine for a rig check. No, 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 no. Is it a boat or a plane? So there we are. Now, we've got the match list. Fantastic. Uh, you're not in my messenger. What's your number, says Rab? No, I'll just come through on the messenger, Rab. I can see you riding a GSXR, Scotty, says Paul McCulley. Fantastic stuff. The Rocket says Eddie Doby Senior. Yes. What else can we think of now? Come on, classic bikes. Here's one for you. A Douglas with a square tank. Get a hold of that one. Fantastic. Uh, and what, there was another one that was three letters. What were the three letters? There was the AJS. There was the Matchless. There was the Triumph. The Bonnevilles. Wonderful. Helena Innes is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Helena. And I hope you are well. And, um, I love your, I love your new Facebook picture. Your last one was, aye. This is super, that one. Oof, says John Adams. Armstrong. Uh, no, Armstrong. The Armstrong Sidley was a car. I did, did Armstrong do motorbikes? I don't know. Uh, Scotty, accept my request. Yes, we'll do. Sinead, lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. Uh, a grifter, says John Adams. I don't know what that one was. GBX Friday. Oh, BMX. That was another one. But that wasn't a motorcycle. I'll tell you what else. I had a Puch Maxi, P-U-C-H, Maxi Moped. And the parts were from BMW. You had to go to BMW to get your parts. Uh, what was the bike with the big long handles? Made you sit away back. Oh, that was a, uh, uh, now wait a minute. That one, yes, the big, a chopper. A chopper, that one, excellent. The army used them 500 cc's. Which one, Andy? What did the army use? Matchless. Norton. Brilliant, Stuart Dutton. The Norton. So there you are. That was a wonderful bike as well. A Thomas moped. Didn't know that one, Alistair King. Mine was a rally runabout from 1963, and it had a Rothsey registration. So there you are. Uh, the, the Chipopar, says Paul McCulley. Yes, I think your predictive text got in first there. Andy, stop copying me. A Cooper. Says Thomas, don't don't know the Cooper, didn't know that one. Armstrong. I didn't know Armstrong did bikes, but they were an arms company, of course. So there we are, Armstrong. And then they joined up with Sidley uh, for the Armstrong Sidleys and Hawker Sidley. 
outside of Chopper, so she, she did, you did. Uh, they were MV Augusta. I'm sure they are British. Uh, so there you are. What else? No, but there was another one. There was another bike that had three letters. There was the AJS. There was one called an Indian. Do you remember that? Massive bike. So there you are. Uh, yes, the Thomas had to pedal to start all mopeds. It was to do, they had to be under 50cc. So they were 49.9cc or something like that. That's a mini. So she says, good night, pal. See you tomorrow night. See you, Thomas Hamilton. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you and saying dinky do. The BSA says Gordon Stilling. We've had the BSA Gordon. We're talking about the BSA Starfire, the C15, the BSA Bantam. They did a 125 and a 175. I'm not sure if they'd bored out the 125. Scotty, you should get, what was that one there? To Glasgow Transport Museum. Been there many, many a time. And in fact, my mother used to go around in the Ardrishig Bell. There we are, the Ardrishig Bell. I remember seeing the old Transport Museum in Glasgow. Fantastic. What do you call a laughing motorcycle? A Yamaha. There we are. American Indian, still going strong, says Eddie Doby Sr. Fantastic bikes. They were big. So there we are. Why am I being ignored, my good fellow? Says Melvin Jordan. Melvin Jordan, you're obviously not being ignored. A Californian messenger. You slung me. No, we haven't slung your rap. Uh, Sherry Stinky Doo, she's laughing her head off. She is buckled up there in Kirkcaldy in Fife. Uh, those of you watching in America, with a lady from Texas earlier, with a lot of people watching Australia, and people watching in Canada, which is tremendous. So, do tell, spill the beans. Um, tabs hurt. Uh, tabs, as in cigarettes. Yes, give them up, I say, Sharice. You get right off that, dear. You do not need that. So there you go. You don't need any tabs, I say. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, First Lord of the Internet, the one-stop broadcaster. Melvin Jordan, please accept my messenger request so I can join you live. Yes, well, I can't accept it just now, I don't think, because it hasn't come up here. So there you are. So I don't have that. Um... Eddie Doby Sr., a Triton. Now, I've heard of a Triton bike. That does ring a bell. I have a 38-year-old Kawasaki Z400 hardtail chop. Yes, now they were big. Is that the, is that the, um, so it's a 400cc. Is that the uh, one they did with a, a sort of slightly bulbous tank? Kawasaki in the side in chrome letters. So there you are. And uh, David Steele's watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And Dee Gurley, Melvin Jordan. I think you're a wee bit too old for this modern technology. Not at all. I brought a lot of it in. McClue's always ahead of his time. So, and at 32 years of age, you're not too old for anything, I say. First time watching, says Vicky Gallagher. Vicky, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome from Scotty McClure and everybody else across the universe. So, which your number, says Ram? You don't need a number, you just go on Messenger. Scotty McClure. I built it myself, says Alistair. Aha! So there you are. Now, am I right in thinking that's a very valuable motorcycle? So there we are. Uh, who have we got here? Carl, Carlos Donnelly. Sorry I'm late, sir. Hi, Scotty, you old sea dog, says Andy Riley. Thank you do, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, I think you'd make a great agony aunt, says Shirley Beard. Yes, dear Scotty. So there we are. That's the one we want, isn't it? Fantastic. Scotty, check out... Um, so there we are. Travis Pastrana, breaking all... Evil Knievels. So there you are. Fantastic. Um, and excellent stuff. Just in from work, Scotty. Welcome home. As much as I love you, Scotty, you're very dull. Melvin Jordan, you are very dull. What we'll do is we'll give you a lifetime ban. There you go. And you can be as bright as you like elsewhere. All right. So there we are. We will never, ever, ever hear from Melvin Jordan again because he thought I was dull. How dare he? A Triton, a Triumph engine in a Norton frame. I got you, got you. 
Um, Aunt Aggie. Yes, I spent about eight K and everything's custom, says Alistair King. Excellent, Alistair. Just look after yourself, I say. Oh, a 1938 aerial. The Red Hunter, Frank Gallagher. How amazing is that? Now, I'm looking for another three letters uh, in addition to the AJS. Excellent. Very dull. Imagine that. Talking about classic motorcycles. Dull. I don't think so. Joseph Gibbons has just joined us. Welcome, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure's late night Friday night pop-up just for you. Can I have a famous McClure pie, please? Says Carl, Carlos Donnelly. You can. Sounds good, Andy. Excellent stuff. I don't know what they're talking about. But anyway, they're having a wee subject. Do you like the Scotty McClure badge? Here we go. I'll just move that lamp. That excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. Ban the nuggets. So there we are. Consider the nuggets banned. Excellent stuff. I'll give you a wee look at the computer here, guys. I'm just going to pop the camera around and, uh, and let you see it that way. Ah, wonderful. So there we are. There's the computer. And uh, that's that. We'll hide all that up there. And then I'll pop it back. So there you are. Must try to do that shelf. Must remember that's tomorrow's job. Keep on saying, Scotty, 10 o'clock, pop up. No phone. Uh, was the bike manufacturer API? No, I don't think that's it, Tony. No. Aerial Square 4. Ah, the Aerial. The Square 4. Lovely, lovely thing. Fantastic. Uh, are you familiar with the wonderful Ken Bruce? I am Joseph Gibbons. I have met Ken. I know him. So there you are. Actually, he's one of my favorite broadcasters. Uh, so API. No, Tony, I don't think it was API. Don't think that's the letters I'm thinking of. It's another three letters. Very old. Jimmy Shand, the late, great Jimmy Shand, the highest selling artist of all time. And everybody needs to take that on board. Fantastic. And I used to play a lot of Jimmy Shand and people would never understand why my show was so popular when all the pop shows were bombing. So there you are. And of course it was because of Jimmy Shand on. And uh, he used to have it. What's your Friday night takeaway? So there we are at a Singapore Chu Main tonight. Chow Min, I think it was. A GTI, no, that's not it. Mark Ferry's watching Dinky Doo, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster. And we are live. A guy's just on a lifetime ban for checking up. Uh, phone me, Scotty, says Rab. Well, try it, Rab. Get the box out, Scotty, says David Turner. I need to go and get the box. So there are the crystal chandelier. Hello there, coming from Scarborough, says Mikhail Putley. Excellent, he's in Scarborough. It might have been an AMC. That rings a bell, but that's cars, Tony. I don't know if they do bikes, but they certainly did cars. There was an AMC. The Daimler Rietwagen in 1885. Yes, Daimler's. 68 Triumph Cub. That was a lovely bike, the Triumph Cub. Bring back the Corries, says David Steele. Excellent stuff. Lord Hesketh built six bikes, the Hesketh. So Eddie Doby Sr. Now, when I worked in Sheffield, they had the biggest country house in Europe there called Wentworth Woodhouse. The, the history is fantastic. But they were the Fitzwilliam family and um, Billy Fitzwilliam, who was the Earl Fitzwilliam before the Second World War, had the Fitzwilliam Motor Works in Sheffield and uh, there was a, what was it called now? A Sheffield, it'll come back to me, right? And it was a tremendous car, huge. I've actually seen one of them. And they were hoping to rival the Rolls Royce with them. Wonderful, wonderful motor car. Uh, what do we do with allowing callers, Scotty? Yes, come on. I mean, no problem at all. You'll get me on Messenger. You need to get an interview with Ronnie Brown, Scotty. Here we are. Here's somebody coming on. It's Rab. Rab, this is fantastic. There we go. We'll answer Rab. He's calling in. A bit of patience, Rab, and we'll get you on. Um, can I join your live stream, says Michael Putley? Of course you can. Come and join us right now, dinky do. It's OEC, JAP, I-V-H-R-D-E-M-C, or dot, JAP, 
definitely is one, yeah? Whatever fits William fits me, says Eddie Dovey Senior. There you are. No, Billy Fitzwilliam, fantastic character, Errol Fitzwilliam. And um, he had the Sheffield, what was she called now? It'll come back to me. Massive, massive car. So there we are. Rap, we took your call. I'm quite sure we did. So there you are. We'll maybe try it again. Ring again and we'll see if we can get you on. Uh, do you remember Paisley's Hillman Imp? Says Bob McCall. Yes, built at the Roots Group, Lord Roots. Fantastic. Here's Rab. No answer. We'll phone him back and see what he's saying. So there we are. Get him on. Karen Mercury, dinky do. Come on, phone in, Cherise, says Andy Hughes. And let's get the chit chat going. We'll see if Rab answers. Yep, you should do. Here he is. Hello, Rab. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you doing, my man? Listen, this is great. And you're sounding lovely and clear. It's no great. It's, it's me. It's Rab. I know it's you, but it's sounding great. It's, it's nice to hear your, your dulcet tones. Nice to hear your dulcet tones, my dear fellow. Are you keeping okay? What? Are you keeping okay? Oh, I was watching the uh, Big Brother there. That was Big Brother. I nearly like... got into the final of that. I, I, I was in it. <laughs> you were in it? No, I'm serious. No, so am I. So are you. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you up to the night, big man, apart from, apart from the... Talking to the nation, Rab. Talking to the nation. Talking oh, to yeah. every nation. As you do. Yes. Carl Carlos Donnelly says we need a group call. Oh, I can have fired up. That would that'd be, that'd would, be a laugh. Would you be up for that? Oh, I, we'll probably all end up in uh, Berlin right enough. End up in the I'd slammer. Be anyway, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, lovely to hear you anyway. And I'm glad we got you through. You big man. You look after yourself. You're a topper. Same yourself, my man. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky do. Thank you, David, you're still. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Right, there you go, guys. That's how it's done. Uh, I still can't ring you, says Michael Putley. The rabs on the tonic, says David Turner. Come on, Scotty, let the big brother thing go. No, no, I did. I did have let it go. No, honestly. Um, you know, but, uh, but we'll be back into that. I'll tell you. Trust me, Scotty McClure is going to pop up in your television screens at some point. So there you are. Um, I think he's on the wine gums, says Margaret McDonald. Do you think so? Do you think he's on the black one, the port? Or the, the red, red did port, of course. And uh, Scotty, are you ticklish? Uh, nobody's ever really asked me that, to be quite honest. Rab's there you are, a little bit of silence brought to you, courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. So you can come on, guys. That was Rab there on the messenger. Come on and have a wee chit-chat with me. That was wonderful stuff. Excellent. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's top broadcaster, Dinky Doo, Friday night. Um, lethal Port says, sure, it's not at all. You're not supposed to... Have a whole whack of it. You just have a couple. Uh, maximum. The EMC motorcycle, says Alistair King. No, Alistair, I don't think that's it either. It'll come back to me. Fantastic. You need to come back to the radio, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Absolutely. Although I think that the Facebook Live is doing incredibly well. I mean, it is massively impressive. Two and a half million people have watched it since we started doing it. And uh, well over 20,000, 25,000 last week, well over 20,000 this week, that sort of thing. Scotty, who beat you on CBB? Shirley Baird, we didn't actually go. This was the audition down at the um, Arsenal football ground, the Emirates Stadium in London. Uh, I got it. You're in the X Factor. Seeing a wee Corrie's number. Now, you were talking about the Corrie's. I adore the Corrie's. And I think I've probably got everything by them. And if we didn't have copyright problems, I would play you 
Corey's songs. I would play you Jimmy Shand. So there we are. I would do that. Did you see my joke, Scotty? We did, Derek. You're a witty. So there you go. Uh, phone Scotty now. I'm in need, need the AA. Uh, so there we are. The AA of your breakdown. Can you say hi to my mother-in-law, Janet? Says Vicky Gallagher. Of course I can, Vicky. Hi, mother-in-law, Janet. Lovely to have you with you. I love you to have you with us on the Scotty McClure Show. Scotty, I bet you have a Skyline R34 and an R1 tucked away. Skyline R34. What are you talking about? The R1 and the R34 were airships. Um, all the best, Scotty. I'm off to Kip Pal, says James Glenn Denning. Glenn, James Glenn Denning, dinky do. Uh, and good night and God bless you, sir. Uh, Eddie Dober, senior, the AJW. No, I was thinking of the AJS. Uh, Paddy Bell and the Corries Trio. Um, my dad taught me well, yes, the Corries, the Corrie, the Corrie Folk Trio and Paddy Bell. And um, Roy Williamson, of course, was an OG, an old Gordon Stonian. And there's a wee memorial to him up there. And uh, if you l listen to Flower of Scotland, I probably told you this before, but it's based on the chorus of the Hebrew slaves from the opera Nabucco. And uh, so, speed your journey. So you've got... Um, da da di da ra ri da 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 di chorus of the Hebrew slaves and flower of Scotland da 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 di di yeah do you see the pattern there fantastic what's your favourite car says Carl Carlos Donnelly I was a big S1 Bentley fan but um, I, uh, I got in one one day and I thought this is different to what I thought to actually drive. Same with the Daimler limousines. But uh, Rovers, very, very big on Rovers. Love the Rover 100, the Rover 2000, the Rover 3500, the Rover 3.5, the Coupe. All these lovely things. The ones that the government used to have. Great big beasts. Lovely things. Ah, the dark nights are fair drawn in, says Matthew Roberts. Scotty, we, we got cut off. Was it a British-made bike? It was, Tony Mac. Yes, British-made bike. Hello, Scotty, from Big Al G. Alan Gordon, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. Brilliant, Scotty, says David Steele. Now, guys, let me know. Vicky Gallagher says shared, wonderful. Let me know if you're enjoying the program, right? Give me some hearts, Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, some thumbs up, some wee pictures, all that. Uh, my foreign friend, he's alcoholic, and his name is Must of a Drink. Derek, for goodness sake, man. The Rover 213, David Steele, yes, but that's a modern one. I'm going back to the Rover 75. Now, I think you had the Rover 75, you had the Rover 80, I think, you had the Rover 90, you had the 95, you had the Rover 100, and the last one was a Rover 105. And I said, what was that classification about? I think it might be the AJS. It's the AJS, Tony Mac. Yes, indeed. Um, I prefer my Swedish tanks, Volvo. Yes, Volvo, wonderful built stuff. My father used to run Volvos and uh, Reliance. So there we are. We had the 144. Great show as always, Scotty. Sorry I'm not saying much. I'm in a lot of pain tonight, but I'm listening. Karen Mercury, let us all take your pain away and share out a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of it so that you suddenly feel well. And I send you love and I send you strength. Scotty, can you remember the Wheel Shunters? Uh, the, no, the Wheel Tappers and Shunters Club. Yes. I've had a word with your committee. Was that uh, Colin Crompton? Marvellous stuff. The Wheel Tappers and Shunters Club. Because wheel tappers were very real on the railways, on British Rail. Uh, Eddie Doby Senior. Yes, lovely. Thank you, Scotty. Fibromyalgia. Now, I think a very famous broadcaster has just announced today that she gets that. And it's a kind of pain all over your body. Yes. All your, all your bits and pieces, your shoulders and everything. 
The Ford Mustang, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Now you're talking, what a cracker of a car that is. Why do rovers have heated back windows so your hands would get warm when you were pushing them? Matthew Roberts, not true of these beautiful old rovers. And uh, in those days, the rover had big Vikings head on the front. They did. Eddie Doby Sr., you're absolutely 100%. How do we call you, Scotty, says Kerry Duncan. Oh, I think sir. Sir would be best. Um, Kirsty Young, yes, bless us, says Gordon Sterling. Absolutely, yes, she had announced. Lovely lady, she had announced about the fibromyalgia. Yes, so there we are. Uh, no, you can call me Kerry on the uh, messenger, and we can have a chit-chat. Messenger, Kerry, says Karen, yes, absolutely. So just Scotty McLean, messenger, and just call in, and we can have a wee chit-chat. That would be excellent. I love Volkswagens, great cars. They're like tanks, says Tony Mac. Yeah, my mother had a Beetle, Rover V8. Very nice, says Andy Hughes. Excellent, yes. The, that V8 engine was originally a Buick engine. Uh, do you take a dram, Scotty, says Kerry Duncan. I used to carry, but I just decided to give it up because I was trying to calculate one Christmas how many units I'd had, and when would I be clear to drive the next day? And then I thought, do you know what? I can't be bothered with this. I just gave it up. I'm too shy, Scotty. Never be shy. Carry on here. Lovely. And a Volkswagen Jetta, says Margaret McDonald. Excellent car, the Jetta. Still about. Very, very good. <clears throat> Wadger's watching. A black and red Ford Mustang, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Very flash. I've always liked um, nice six-cylinder cars that you couldn't hear them ticking over. And you had to listen very carefully. I can remember, um, well, you see, when Rolls and Royce got together, Henry Royce wanted to demonstrate to Charles Stuart Rolls, C.S. Rolls, who was into electric cars and had the money. I love my polo, says Tony Mac. Absolutely. Remember the ladder, says Margaret McDonald. Yes, Russian cars. It was effectively a Russian Fiat, really, built upon that model. Scotty, I'll call Betty tomorrow and info her on your pending knighthood, says Paul Sefton. No, no, the only one I would go for is either... A, a GVO or a KCVO, because that comes from the Queen herself. A latest rovers of a Viking ship, the Ladder Riva. Marty, yes, absolutely. Rad also did. Sure, Ladder did a four wheel drive. They did a sort of Jeep as well. Charles McLachlan is watching. Gemma Ann Marie McCray. Gary Duncan is laughing. Volvo 960, straight six for sale. Apply within. Ooh, fantastic. A wee bit juicy for me, Gordon. Automatic, I take it. Very nice. And there was a great big one. What was it with the 460 or something? Great big beast. Not heard you for years, Scotty. So there we are. What was that lady saying? Wait a minute. Uh, Eddie Gillen. Uh, sorry. Not heard you for years, Scotty. Good to hear you again. Listen to you back in Glasgow. Eddie Gillen. Dinky do. And a very warm welcome. My friend swallowed a front doorbell. When he's near you, he plays green sleeves. Where does he get them from? I think Mercedes Benz was named after Mr. Benz's daughter. Yes, I told you that last week. Mercedes. That's right. Royce Rolls. Um, so there we are. Uh, the Queen uh, out in Corrie. So excellent. The Queen is Betty, my friend. So they were very good. Good luck with that. Hello, for Lanzarote, says Thomas Hall. Thomas Hall is out in Lanzarote. How good is that? JP McCusker's watching Dinky Doo. My mum used to have a Ford Capri, says Frank Gallagher. Now, the Capri was lovely, but they actually did one. I'm wondering if it went down to an 1100. I think it was a 1300. And that sort of, uh, you know, it wouldn't really actually have pulled the skin off a rice pudding, to be honest with you. But they did a 1300 Capri, but the 1600, very popular. And I also think that it was an 1800 and a two litre. They are Gavin A. McVicker, Dinky Do. Ah, the Jaguar E type. Now you're talking around uh, 1967, was that right? A lot of E types around 65. Did they bring it out in 63, even maybe? As early as that, the E-Type Jaguar, lovely thing. What was the car in Smokey and the Bandits? I don't know. I was drying my hair, sorry. Uh, Scotty and Big Jezza. Just past this year, Scotty, was a challenge for me. Gary Duncan. Oh, yes, your driving test. Well, it's a written bit now. Scotty, do you live near me? 
Don't shout your name out the window. Tell me if you can hear me. Yes, Charlie. Yes, absolutely. I'm just down the road there. And a few six-cylinder, three-litre Grenadas. Ooh, Eddie Doby Senior. Obviously, you're okay for Dosh. Um, you're like a young Jeremy Clarkson with your motoring knowledge, Scotty. Oh, we like, we like the cars. I'm a bit of a petrol head. You're dishing for Jeremy Top Gear. Scotty McClue's Top Gear. How amazing with that. Do you not think I'd be an excellent presenter for Top Gear? So there we are. Uh, my Volvos are both 2.5 T5 manual gearbox, the C70 and the V40. Very nice, Alistair King. These are modern cars, though, I have to say to you. I'm into the 122. What about that? They were as quiet as a mouse. Lovely big thing. Round, bulbous car. Early 1960s. And then the 144. The 244, yes, absolutely, all that, 440s, 460s, the 164, now there was a car, a Volvo 164, lovely straight six engine, beautiful, big, comfortable beast, they had a lovely driving position because you were very upright in them, so there you are, Scotty and Big Jezza, what a show that would be, yes, Jeremy Clarkson and Scotty McClue. There's a show for you. The V8 Capri. Ooh, a flying machine. Uh, hello, everybody in the world. Hello, everybody. Yes, thank you, dude. A uh, Shelby Cobra, Scotty. Whoa, I don't know. What about TVR Vixen? I passed my driving test on the 2nd of December, 1998. They always used to say Skodas were uh, like sunroofs on skip Scotty. Skodas are better. Now, so they were, I've run Skodas for years. I ran the wee, the wee old ones. What were they called now? The lovely wee Skoda 105, I think it was. It was called a... Uh, oh, that's terrible, and I ran it for years. You missed my Jess, pal. I was saying I'll call to inform her of you now. Thank you, Paul. No, we got your Jess. There we are. Uh, every time the microwave dings, the boxers off the couch. Got a Bugatti. Says Sharice, how are you, Sharice? Hang on to that if you've got a Bugatti. Scotty, I bet you don't know how the spirit of ecstasy came about. Uh, yes, now I do. Was it something to do with a ship? So there we are. Scotty, can I get a shout out from my under 17 lads from St. Mirren Athletics? Of course you can, David Steele. So there we are. And uh, Lance, oh, Sharice, very naughty. We'll have to. Delete that comment. There we are. Alancia, says Margaret McDonald. Very nice. The Lancia. Was Lancia Italian? I'm trying to think. Lancia. Don't know a great deal about them, but remember them. They were lovely motor cars. And, uh, of course, what about the Jensen? The Jensen Interceptor. Very nice. You see them. They're always covered up with a tarpaulin, these cars. <laughs> Ships in the night. So there we are. Uh, never had a problem with my car, says Andy Hughes. Of course not, Andy. Dinky-doo, I say. Wonderful stuff. Right, it's just about time I was not here. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. What a great show. Modern cars are better cars from the 70s and 80s. There were rust buckets. You're right, Charles McLachlan. You don't see rusty cars now. Very, 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 very much a rarity. I'm in trouble with Mrs. Mack. Can you tell her I've been behaving myself? Sorry, of course you have. A Shelby GT. Ford all the way, says Andy Hughes. The Corvette. I think you mean the Corvette. Yes, Italian Scotty, the Lancia, and the Alfa Romeo. Go fit in the morning, mate. Night, night. Night, night, everybody. I'll uh, sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Goodbye, loves. Great start to the weekend, says Mark Andrews. Scotty McLean saying to every single one of you, have a fabulous weekend. Join me on Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square. Until then, this is Scotty McLean saying dinky-doo to all of you. Respect to you, Andy Hughes. See you later, Scotty Pals and David Turner. See you later, guys.